Welcome everyone. This is Irina from Power Diary support team. And today in this video, I would like to talk to you about the parent and child account setup and how that works. So in this video, we will go over how this setup can be useful for you, how to create a parent account, how to link a child account with a parent account, how to set up specific user permissions for the parent account access, and how to access child accounts via the same parent account login. So let's move on. Uh, why using this particular setup for parent and child accounts? Well, let's imagine that for any reason you are involved in working with more than one Power Diary accounts. You can be a virtual assistant or a virtual assistant's business. You can be an accountant with clients who use Power Diary for their invoicing. You can be a practitioner who has their own personal Power Diary account, but also involved uh in part-time work with a clinic who uses Power Diary account as well. Or you can be an operations manager for the business who has multiple branch business branches and each branch can use their own Power Diary account. So these are the most common scenarios where you would want to use the parent and child accounts set up. How to create a parent account? If you don't have one, just go to powerdiary.com click on this try it for free button and you will create a free trial account and send us an email at supportedpowerdiary.com and request to convert this free trial into a parent account. This will be free for you, no extra charges. Or you may already have a paid business Power Diary account and you want to use it to switching between other Power Diary accounts. That can also be set up and you just need to email us again at supportedpowerdiary.com and request that this is organized for you. So once this is done, we want all the involved parties, the parent account owner, and the child account owner to email us at supportedpowerdiary.com and confirm that you request and consent to linking your accounts to each other as a parent and a child account. Uh, once we have received the email confirmations from the both accounts, we will process this link and send you both an email confirming that this has now been processed and this is what you need to do next. As child account owner, we would want you to go to set up users and find the user profile that we created for the master access. You would open this user profile either by clicking on the name or on the edit button here. Once inside this um, parent account master access profile, you would just need to define the available features for the user permissions uh, and allow people with access from the parent account to perform these particular activities for you and limit their access uh, as you need. That's all. As an owner of the parent account, what else you may need to do? If it's not just you who uses this parent account, if it's, for example, um, a virtual assistance business or uh, the operations department of the multiple branch um, business, you would need to create user profiles for every person with access to the parent account using their unique email addresses. And you can also set up the two-factor authentication for them so that you are sure that only authorized personnel can access the parent account. And this is also all you need to do from your end. Now, every person who logs into parent account and then switches into the child account, they will all have the same permissions as defined by the child account's owner. This is important to know. Uh, and now once uh, an authorized user logged into parent account, they can just click on the um, business name of the account at the top right, select change account, and uh, in this dropdown, they will see a list of all child accounts that are linked to the parent account, and they can just select one to easily access that linked child account. So that would be all about the particulars of this setup. And I would also like to show you 
just a quick demonstration of the actual user experience that you would have. So I have logged into the parent master account as one of the users. As you can see, it doesn't have a roster, it doesn't have any um, appointments booked, and it is in the trial state. You don't need to ever convert it if it's a trial, um, because we have organized it on our end that it doesn't expire and you are not getting charged. Uh, of course, if it's your business account where you have your appointments, you would yeah, log in and see all your appointments, rosters, that's also possible. So once you have log logged into that account that serves as a parent uh, master access account, you will just click on the business name again at the top right, click into change account and see the list of the child accounts that are connected. Uh, I will select the Healthy You child account, and I'm instantly taken over. You see, I wasn't asked to log in. I can just click into their account. Um, I can see uh, appointments. I can see different calendars, but can I do anything else? If I, I can't click into an appointment, I can't do much more. It means that the owner of the child account, the Healthy You account in this case, they haven't defined specific user permissions for the parent master access. So that you can just contact them and say, could you please uh, allow my user to do what you want me to do? And they will just process through that um, user profile as I showed you before. Uh, now, how do I get back? I will click on the business name at the top again, select change account, uh, I will click into a different child account, for example, the Your Clinic account, and I am now changed into that profile. So in there, I can do many things. I can, for example, click on the appointment. I can um, change the status. I can raise an invoice. I can record a payment. So I can see that many options were given to my user and I can actually perform, in this case, an administrative support as a virtual assistant, for example. So I can see that the owner of the child account, your clinic, they actually gave my parent access user all the permissions that they want me to have and I can work successfully. And I can either just log out through here at the end of the day or go back to my parent account and log out from there. Uh, that's all I, that I wanted to share with you in this video. And here I am, Irina. And if you have any more questions, feel free to contact us through the email at support at powerdiary.com, book a phone call, start a live chat, you know where to find us. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in a different video. Have a good day.